Hello everyone. This is the the YouTube that I said that I would make about the art painting by Jackson Pollock, um, Lavender Mist. Um, first of all, I want to say that I think that we see art or we, we don't understand about how to view art. I mean, we go to the art museum and we look at the art paintings and we, what are we looking at? I mean, we know, sometimes we know about the artists, but we're always looking for something. We're always searching for, to see something in a painting. And what I think is, I think it's more about us than the painter. Or, yeah, more than us. It's more about us than the painter. I mean, you can see a Renoir and you know everybody likes it, but from this, ex from my experience with this painting, Lavender Mist by Jackson Pollock, I find that it has, maybe it's more about who we are. Now I'm gonna tell you about my experience with the La Lavender Mist and how I became, how I, um, my first time viewing it in how it became one of my favorite paintings. I was dating a doctor one time, like in the 1990s, 1990s, early 1990s. And we would go to like, he would take me to seminars, sometimes doctor seminars. I would go in and I would, I mean, freely, I mean, I, he would take me and I would enjoy it. To the most part, it was like a little bit, it's almost like suffering because you don't understand anything. But the thing about me is one of my talents is that I remember what I don't know, what I don't understand. I don't know how I do it right now. Maybe I'll find out, but I can understand things that I don't understand, meaning the only way I could sit through some of his seminars, doctor seminars, was the fact that I can re remember. I don't know anything about the subject. I don't know anything about the terms they're talking about. But I can remember what I don't know. We would also go see um, different architects, speeches from architects or about architecture. But one time he wanted to... Um, introduced me to this painting. He went and he showed me a pamphlet of it, but I don't remember seeing it because I, it was something that I was not familiar with. And it's in the Washington DC Art Museum. And I remember walking up on the painting, walking, he was, we were going through the hall and I saw the pit painting and he was saying, this is the painting. And I looked at it and he was trying to show me this and that in the painting, but I didn't see it. I mean, I did not see, I'm sorry, what he saw. And it was strange to me because, I'm sorry, because I wanted to see what it was. And it was a, it's a very big, painting Lavender Miss by Jackson Pollock and I looked to the left I looked to the right he showed me some different colors in it and I saw nothing and I said to myself I really I don't see it I don't see what this painting is about I didn't reject it in any way I just didn't see what what he saw or I didn't see what I wanted to see, and it was really a big deal for me, which I didn't realize how big of a deal it was. So, and I kept looking and looking and looking, but I did not see what this painting meant to me, I guess. And um, we went on, and 
of course, I remember that I didn't, evidently, because of the next YouTube that I'm going to talk about, evidently it stayed on my mind. And um, like I said, there's certain things, that, one talent that I have, I don't know if it's a talent or whatever, it's just that I understand or I can remember things that I don't know. That's as hard, that's as, that is as close as I can come to to explaining that, okay? Okay, now, my next YouTube is going to be on an experience that I had, which has nothing to do with the painting. But after that experience, I have a situation to where that painting comes up again. So, the experience that I had, had something to do with the painting, which I will show you. I'm going to tell the story in the next YouTube. So, the rest of this YouTube is explain, is trying to come to grips. I'm as lost as probably you are when you look at paintings. But now I want to explain something or try and get some information as to what is it that we see in paintings because I have a clear meaning I have a clear um, experience with this one painting I mean I like I always liked um, one of my paintings that I found by myself was um, not Jackson Pollock it was another one of my favorite paint painters was Oh, I can't get his name. Oh, um, I almost has it had had his name. Um, he did the Nighthawks. Um, Edward Hopper. This also helps me in my understanding of Edward. I mean Edward Hopper, because I always liked his paintings and especially the Nighthawks. Not the way that the commercial people do it or the graphic artists change it but the original which I think is in the art Chicago Art Institute but what I want to clear up which is not really clearing up but kind of helping the people helping the people that who view art and go to art museums and they don't really know what they're looking at because I've been to I love to go to art museums and look at the paintings but yet I don't see what I'm looking for, which explains to me, and this is because of the experience that I have, which I'll show on the next YouTube, it must be more about ourselves. It must be something, we're looking in, the, what I'm trying to say is I think we're looking in the wrong place. I mean, like when we look at the artist, we think about the artist, but you can think about it, but I don't think it's there. Is it what we feel the scene is about? I think it has a percentage, a very low percentage. But I think we need to, it's more about what, learning more about ourselves. Which now, I can, which now with this information that I got now, it's because the reason why I'm doing this YouTube, because someone made me think about this one friend made me think about this um, experience that I had. And I told her that I, the experience that I told you, I viewed this painting, I didn't see, and I wanted to see it so much, you know. And then I saw it after something, I saw something after I experienced this really, really traumatic experience. So that stayed on my mind, and I, I just stayed on my mind. It meant something. So that's why I'm, I wanted to do a YouTube on it, because I think we take art too lightly. I mean, we have, um, like, Renoir. I mean, you can go to the museum and see it, and it's beautiful. But what there's still something about our life about our individual life that we see something in the painting and i'm saying now we can go to museums 
and look at the art and okay we know that the artists and which artists did it but what part of our life is affected by that painting and that's one way that's one thing that we never think about when we go to the art museum and I think that we should I think what I'm saying here in this YouTube is I think we underestimate art and we probably give the artists all the credit for things that we like for a painting that we like but what is inside what is that painter relating to us that he has and that we have that tells us that we appreciate that work of art like Picasso's I know Picasso paintings there's another one is it Renoir I think it's Renoir no, maybe it's another artist. Um, yes, it's another artist that a lot of people love. But maybe we can find something more about our... Find in it something more than we had in the past. Now that we know that by looking at art, we can appreciate it more if we find something inside ourselves, which I don't believe is something that we can relate to as far as words are concerned. I think it's more emotions and experiences, something without words. And it will make our viewing of different art pieces that we like, um, we can make it priceless. I also like um, local artists. I like artists that I come in contact with. And I remember when I was living in Atlanta, Georgia, and now I understand it more because of the experience that I had in bringing this painting back in my life. Um, there was one artist that I worked with. He was, I mean, one person that I worked with, he was an artist. And he did a show in like a cafe that I was working in. And I liked his paintings and I bought like four or five of his paintings. I mean, they cost like a hundred, two hundred dollars. So it was kind of expensive for me, but it meant something to me. And now I know it was something more important than I, than just looking at the painting now that I see. And um, I love that painting. And it means a lot to me. But now it even means more because I know it's something about myself that's in that painting. And um, I'm getting ready to close this one. This one's not that long. but So this one is about my appreciation for Lavender Mist. And how I learned that a painting is not so much about the artist. But it's about something that we see in ourselves that we can't put in words. And I think that opens up another aspect about finding out who we are as far as things that we cannot put into words. I mean, like, even when I was doing this YouTube, I couldn't, I couldn't write things down and I couldn't even, and I usually can see like a structure of um, how I'm going to do the YouTube. But this art, I think art was, it was it's so big and something that I haven't really... Um, organized in the fact that it's just all over the place but this starts out a new um, how can I say this starts a, a new subject not so much a subject but a new but I'm gonna use the word subject a new subject of interest for me because now I can go to an art museum and not just because I've been to the art museum I saw the paintings and I know the artists but this time I want to go and see and see how they relate to something that I have inside myself, you know. And um, so that's the one that's um, that's oh, Vincent Van Gogh. I was finally because when I was doing this speech, when I was continually doing, uh, you know, the, the things I just said, I was thinking of this painting that I 
this painter that I wanted to come up, um, Van Gogh. Van Gogh is another interesting one now that I can, now that I have this understanding or this new subject in myself, as far as art concerned, I want to see how he has affected me or what is it inside myself that conveys to certain paintings that he has. And I hope that you enjoy this YouTube in finding something new as far as um, going to the museum and seeing um, and seeing paintings, you know, different works of art that, that you're interested in. And maybe we, we'll, we'll, we'll be able to go to the museum now and not just always look for what is it? What is it? What is it? I'm telling the truth. Because I've been, I love going to museums, but most of the time I go, I'm looking for something. What is it? What is it? Where is it? What is it? Look at that painting. Now I'm going to look at a Vincent van Gogh and see something about myself not put in words. And that's the end of this YouTube. But my next one is going to go deeper in my experience that I had which brought me back. It's an experience of very, very, com not complex, but horrific. I can actually say horrific um, experience that I had. And when I came out and I realized I was out of the experience, I went back to that painting. So all that time when I first saw it, when I was introduced to it, I had it somewhere in myself that painting is so strange that even though I never really thought about it, I mean, I wasn't like I wanted to think about it. But after I, it, after I finished that experience or came out of that experience, that was one thing. It was like I knew that I was going to see more. So that's it for this one. My next one, I don't know if it's going to be because the YouTubes are really, really... Um, they really, I'm not saying they take out a lot out of you, but it is like giving a lot of yourself when you do the YouTube. So maybe, I mean, I don't take it lightly, the YouTubes that I do. I really do them from my heart. Maybe some people just do the YouTubes and they don't mean anything to them, but I don't think so. I think most people who really do YouTubes a lot, I'm not saying I think the greater percentage really take a lot of out of themselves to express something to you all. So thank you for listening to this YouTube and my next one is going to be on Vince uh, not Vincent um on Jackson Pollock's um Lavender Mist the experience that I had. I hope you got something out of this one. It's a big topic. It's really a new topic, okay? Because we're not just talking about painters or paintings, we're talking about how they have something that they see inside themselves and they're trying to give us something that's there inside of ourselves and we have to find it. Thank you very much.